Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The first entry in the Super Smash Bros. series, known for being the first entry in the series to have third party characters in the roster, with Solid Snake and Sonic the Hedgehog. As well as an adventure mode that has never quite been seen since, with Smash Ultimate's World of Light being the closest thing to it. However, Brawl had its series of problems, one of the most infamous being its inclusion of random tripping, something that thankfully hasn't been seen after Brawl. Fans of the series also took note of how the game seemed to be slower than its predecessor, Super Smash Bros. Melee. But what could be done? The game was finished. Project M. I'm sure most of you have heard this name before. First releasing in 2011 with Demo 1.0, this mod of Brawl was meant to make the gameplay more like Melee, removing stuff like random tripping and re-implementing directional air dodging, and with it, wave dashing. The game only had 14 characters at this point, with the roster not being finished until version 3.0, with the added characters including returning melee vets, Roy, and Mewtwo. Throughout the years, the Project M dev team, or as they once went by, the Project M backroom, would update Project M with new features, re-adding stages, adding new stages, new costumes, HD remodels of some of the N64 stages, and balancing characters. Project M version 3.6 came out on August 16th, 2015. With plans for the next version being teased later on, people were excited for the next version. But then, the news came out. December 1st, 2015. The team announced that Project M was ceasing development, with 3.6 being the last version to be realized. This news was upsetting, but also confusing. They were teasing stuff for the next version of PM, including a new costume for Roy, based on his appearance in Fire Emblem Awakening, not too long ago. This caused quite a stir in the modding community, the big fear being that Nintendo took them down. An assumption that wasn't baseless, as you could reportedly be banned from Miiverse Nintendo social media platform for the Wii U and 3DS from mentioning Project M or even just the abbreviation PM. Which is problematic if you were talking about Paper Mario. A couple of statements were later given on the matter. The first saying that there were no legal issues that caused the shutdown, while the latter statement from another member of the team argued that it was shut down because of fears of legal action. We still don't quite have a full answer as to what the actual case was. So, that's the end of the story, right? EM concludes its development. There's nowhere else to go, is there? Surprisingly, no. There's still another part of this story. And it starts with a legacy. After the PMDT disbanded, people were looking for somewhere to turn to in regards to modding. A few groups have shown up, some with the goal of either trying to continue Project M's development, or just trying to finish what was left behind. Sometime around this point, the team behind Project MXP, a stage expansion mod pack for PM, began meeting up with other modders and began working on a new version of PMXP. With the addition of being able to add new characters, as PMEX became available, there was... a bit of a debate over what they will call this project, but eventually, with some pushing from David V. Kimball, whose Project M build, Super Smash Bros. Legacy, had gained a bit of a following over the years, the team working on the name Smash Bros. Legacy, settled on the name Legacy XP. The announcement of Legacy XP caused quite a bit of excitement over the community, though the build was so ambitious that for the longest time it was in beta. 
Part of the reason being that some of the characters were still being worked on. There was, however, one hiccup with Legacy XP upon first beta release. When the build was announced, they teased the inclusion of Project Ganondorf, something that at the time they were sure was going to work. However, there were some problems. The way the mod worked was not in a way that played nice with other mods, as it used stuff that other things needed, and projectiles weren't real projectiles. By the full 2.0 release of XP, however, they did manage to get Mage Ganondorf to work well with everything else. However, David wasn't fully happy with Legacy XP. There was nothing wrong with the build, don't get him wrong, but it clashed with the philosophy he was trying to push for with the original Legacy builds. Legacy XP, for all intents and purposes, was not built for Wii, and tournament viability was out of the question. After a suggestion from another member of the team, David decided to make a second build that's more tournament focused. This is how. Legacy TE was born. Legacy TE's philosophy is simple. Replace little, add a lot. All vanilla Project M content, with a few exceptions, being replacing Roy's Awakening Color Palette costume with the Awakening Royalt, and replacing Zero Suit Samus with SJS's revamp of Zero Suit Samus. All other content was untouched. As for the new content, each stage has at least one alt that's a reskin of an existing tourney legal stage. As of the 2.5 update, each character has 15 costumes that are ready for tournament play, and a lot of quality of life improvements. When Legacy TE was initially announced, people were excited, though it seemed like XP was still the more popular of the two at the time. However, over time, Legacy TE has appeared to become more popular than XP. I think one of the main reasons for this apparent shift is that TE is built to be fully customizable. TE has essentially replaced Vanilla PM as the go-to base for builds. With Legacy TE and XP handling two sides of the PM community, PM's legacy Looks like it'll be sticking around for quite some time, and I'm interested in seeing where its legacy will take us. For those of you who have stuck around till the very end, thank you. I'm not used to this format, so I'm not very good at it. My voice is also probably not the best for this type of format either, though I tried my best. There's only so much I can do, you know? But, with that, I bid you all farewell. See you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed a look into Project M's legacy.